I just wanted to give you an update on the diff situation since we're stuck since a month now, just a bit over a month, and nothing seems to move, nothing seems to work. So the thing is, is it how it started, it was just after the MOT, which was on the 20th. Um, 20th of April because I thought just after the MOT um, just do the diff quickly change the rings that we need to and then get on with the travels and this extended until today so he took the oil out around the 20th of April and since then we're standing and we have the 24th of May roughly so it's it's been a pain it's been really really difficult um, he took it out then we measured things then I had to work so I couldn't look things up then um, the parts for because it was leaking. The, the reason why I wanted to take it out in the first place was because it was leaking and that meant the seal was broken and he said that at the beginning but he had to put it back in because we didn't have to seal it the first when he took it out first and replaced the pinion and crown. Um, so I got that shipped from Italy a couple of weeks ago, literally a couple of weeks ago. Um, and that cost me almost 70 bucks to ship this over for four shims for the inner side. I can't remember what they're called. They're like the half moon rings they look like. I'm probably going to pop a picture up. Um, plus the seal. And the, the, the products all in all together were, I think, 49 roughly but the shipping was about 29 so yeah but they were here within three days so he fiddled around with it when it arrived and I was super impressed that it was arriving so quick I was like from Italy in three days what how is that possible but yeah I paid 29 bucks for shipping I, that's where it comes from <sighs> anyways the um situation after that he was trying to put it back in and then he tried to um, adjust the pinion and the crown so they are level in the middle um, so they can roll like level in the middle I can't really show it <laughs> how it does it um, and that didn't work out with the paint we had because we tried it with just normal paint and obviously that doesn't work as well because it doesn't stick properly so a week later, I had to order. Wait. I had to order gear paint for him to be checked how to roll this and where the crown sits and where does it have to be. And I had to order this. Literally, this. That was seven bucks. I'm looking in that direction because I can see myself but the camera is over here so it's a bit confusing but anyways so um, yeah so that thing was seven bucks and it lasts about two to three applications and all you do is pulling that in in between the um, crown and then roll the pinion over it a few times to see where the mark is that's ridiculous. It's an absolute joke. Seven fucking bucks. Anyway, so we done this. Then he swapped the shims around that we already have in the diff. And that worked a bit. So the, the problem is with the adjustment of the pinion and crown with the shim rings is that you need a precise tool to measure them properly um, how thick the shims need to be and w which side they need to go and whatnot so that was a very difficult one 
because you don't have to we, we don't have the tool we can't really figure it out we have to do it by eye measurement and um, he needs to watch a lot of videos about it how to adjust it properly and that's just taken forever it's just taken forever so uh, yeah we're, we're now at the point that I've contacted a few days ago a couple of um, not a couple, actually five to six suppliers that had shimmerings almost the size that we needed not for diffs but normal shimmerings you can do, use any, you don't have to do specific ones and uh, it turns out that none of them do specific sizes I tried to get them to do specific sizes basically and they, they all said no, we can't do that we just stock the ones that we have on the eBay pages and it's super frustrating so we're now back to square one looking for shimmerings it's not that we haven't found them there are shimmerings for this van um, specifically for this van Ivico shimmerings and they cost literally 95 bucks for 11 rings just to adjust them you won't even use 11 rings you just need a few sizes to adjust it properly but these 11 rings cost 95 bucks plus shipping and i'm like I, I, that's not possible this is this is too ridiculous for me i can't do that uh so therefore i i declined that situation from one supplier i was like no way no i'm not gonna do that and therefore we're now stuck again and back to square one and look in and i don't even know where to look anymore i don't even know what to search anymore a friend of him suggested just buy a new axle with this um, sh with the diff already set up just buy a new second hand um, a second hand axle and I don't want to do that either because obviously I paid 200 bucks last year for the pinion uh, just to get that shipped over a new one and uh, it seems to be an endless story now, really. It's it's really weird. I don't know why it's happening. Yeah, so that's that's the mumbling on about the story of the diff. Plus, um, we don't know how it's going to continue. It's the end of May, almost, and we haven't sorted it. And the spring situation is in a complete different story. That needs fixing too, still. And we're still figuring out a cheaper way to fix the uh, springs properly so they're not lacking on one side but that's another video um anyways i'm going to show you now how it looks underneath the van and why i can't drive right now right i'm now underneath the van and that's the diff so how we can say that's the pinion no that's the crown and the pinion is basically in the back here if you can see that that's where it's sticking out that bit uh, so you had to paint as you can see here a few of these and then roll it one round to see where it comes out from and uh, it looks like it's still on that that side which needs to be needs to be in the middle here um, yeah, so that's the difficult part. I wouldn't have a clue how to do it, but he knows a bit more. Obviously, he's not an expert, and he knew it's going to be very complicated, uh, and therefore he didn't want to do it from the start, but here we are, um, because I can't pay the mechanic bill for people to do it for me. And yeah, so now we're sitting here for at least a month with the drive shaft out, and the diff open. Uh, yeah, it's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. But yeah, that's how it looks like. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not able to drive anywhere right now or anytime soon because we need to solve the shimmering issue. And right now I won't be able to look it up because I have enough to do with my job but I hope in the next couple of days I will be able to start doing something, search the internet again and see if I can find something else that's cheaper 
otherwise if there's the only solution that we have to pay 95 bucks for them then we have to because otherwise we won't be able to fucking drive um but yeah that's that's so far so good so if you have any solutions if you see this video early enough if you have any solutions for this shimmering issue for the diff i would really appreciate it because we're basically stuck right now and don't know what to do um figuring out where to get the exact sizes from um all we need is really 0 0.5 and uh, one mil and two mil shimmerings thicknesses and uh, we won't go in the hundreds of millimeters uh but yeah that's that's so far the story and that's very devastating that we can't go anywhere luckily the seal fits and it's arrived and that's good uh, so the inner mechanism of the diff is fitted together the, sh the rings for this are fitted in the new ones the old ones were really rough look really rough i can put a picture up as well if i find one and uh yeah, so the story continues and see how long. I will update you obviously when everything's finished and we found a solution or not. And uh, yeah, until then, see you later.